There's some basic shapes you can insert into your spreadsheet, like circles, squares, triangles, stars, lines. To do that, come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Illustrations group, then click on the Shapes drop-down arrow. you got a lot to choose from, but what's interesting is that if you're looking for the perfect circle and square, you won't find it. The closest you can get is to a rectangle. You can see when I hover over that, it says rectangle. And then the oval. Go ahead and choose one of those because from there I'll show you how to create your perfect circle from the oval and the perfect square from the rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and click on oval. Then when I move my pointer down over the worksheet, I've got a plus sign. To go ahead and create your perfect circle, you can do it one of two ways. The first way, when you have your plus sign, is to click and drag. If you start clicking and dragging in a perfect diagonal, you get your perfect circle. Now, if you're like me and you don't get that just right, you go more vertically or more horizontally, that's not going to work. If you start veering off, hold down the shift key, it'll pop it open, and you'll get your perfect circle. All you have to do is, with your left mouse button still held down, is to get the size by moving in or stretching out. In any case, when you're done, let go of the mouse and let go of the uh, shift key, and there's your perfect circle. Of course, when you insert or you draw a shape, with it selected, you get its related format tab. So if I need to draw more shapes, instead of going to the insert tab, I'm I can go here, again, as long as I have a shape selected, because when I click off of it, the Format tab disappears, so I have to go back to the Insert tab, and then go to the Shapes, and then come down here, and then click on Oval again. And the second way, like I said, to draw a perfect circle, when you get your little plus sign, double-click really fast. There you go. There's the perfect circle. Click and drag to move it over here. Let me select the other one, hit the Delete key to get rid of it. With my circle here, if I want to make it larger or maybe turn it back into an oval, you know, modify it. All you have to do is hover over any one of its uh, handles, like the lower right-hand corner. When I hover over it, I get arrows pointing in the opposite direction. Just go ahead and click and drag that, and you can keep going out more in a diagonal. Of course, you can hold down the shift key to maintain your perfect circle, or you can go up, make it more horizontal or more vertical, and then let go. And of course, you've got your uh, middle handles if you want to click and drag and just go out more horizontally, or your bottom and top handles to stretch vertically from the top or from the bottom. What I want to do here is I want to be able to take my uh, semi-oval here, click and drag it over Increase Profits. And to make this worksheet pop out a little bit more, like Increase Profits, I want that to be the focal point, is I'd like my oval to be more transparent, so that text behind it bleeds through it, and it makes it look like it's well, part of the oval. To make the oval transparent, or any shape for that matter, just go ahead and right-click on it, go down to Format Shape. There it is, Transparency. You'll notice that when I click and drag this, the slider, this will become more transparent. And I can do it that way, or just type it in, 75, and then close out. Click off in a blank area. Go ahead and select the shape if you want to change it. Come back up here on the Format tab over to the Insert Shapes group, click on the drop-down arrow for Change Shape, and then maybe select something else, maybe a Rounded Rectangle, so that way you don't have to go ahead and redraw a shape, delete that one, just go ahead and change it. In this case, from an oval to a rounded rectangle. We'll do one more shape here. Let me go ahead and, well, with this rounded rectangle selected, I get my Related Format tab. I'm going to go to the Insert Shapes group, it allows me to insert from the format tab here in this group. I'm going to click on the uh, down arrow, then just click and drag and go down, and there's my down arrow, let go. Once I get that, I can resize it, of course, with those handles. You also get the uh, green circle, that when you hover over it, you got that arrow going back on itself. That means when you click and you hold it down, you get a bunch of arrows twisting. That means that you can twist your shape any which direction you'd like. Let me click and drag and put it over here. Because maybe I'm building something that says, hey, increase profits, arrow down, maybe another oval here with some text in it that says increase sales. And if you want to add text to your uh, shapes, just go ahead and right-click on the shape and go up to edit text, and you can just type in. You see how it's cut off? It says P-O-I-N-T-S points. Just hover over the middle handle and stretch it open more, and then click off. In any case, I go over more in detail about how to edit pictures, shapes, uh, clip art in PowerPoint, and also Word. Excel was meant to be more analytical in the sense of using raw data than PowerPoint, which is more visual. So I'll let you watch those to get more details about how to uh, modify and work with your shapes.
Well, two more things before I end this video. One is that if you need to go ahead and duplicate that shape, go ahead and hold down the control key and hit the letter D. There you go. D is in duplicate, control D to duplicate any shape. And then finally, if you don't want to see the grid lines, you can come up here, click on the page layout tab, and then go over to the sheet options group and uncheck view the grid lines. That way, if you're given a presentation off of Excel, they're not distracted by all the uh, grid lines, but can just view the shapes themselves. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.